is going with Tremor. Oh my stars, I have never seen this man pick Tremor a day in his life. And Silver Eye going with his patented Liu Kang. I'm, I'm going to get the name straight before I actually get into this uh, action. And start off, huge as illusions. And oh man, the, the health, he does not have the health bars lower, so we'll not be able to see the health bars as well, guys. Sorry about that. And I, I may actually just take off the overlay so you guys can see it. Let me get everything set up for you, and then we'll go ahead and combine this match for you. They threw me a curveball. And what's so scary is that I, I'll see Illusions pick a character that I've never seen him play before in my life, and it looks like he's been playing him since day one. Every single time. Let's see if taking this off makes this look a little bit easier for you guys. Just so you, just so you, just so you guys can see the health bars. And all right, here we go. Double back fist from from Silver Eye here. And wow, just a disrespect to plus frame, just going for the raw. Uh, rock take down there. And I am loving this play from uh, Illusions. He put no gap there, and that's definitely what Silver I was trying to read there. And great check of the flying kick. And if he didn't do that jump uh, jump attack early, he would have got a nice, clean jump in and closed out the round. And, oh, it's a shame that Illusions caught going for a down four there. And that uh, projectile there closing it out. What a close first round, though. This looks like a pretty good pick from Illusions. And I, I love Tremor's projectiles. They have such little recovery on them. And he's able to just be able to react to whatever you do. Th throw that, that little rock disc or, or that incredible startup of just the rock toss. And you can react to any jump in uh, with a forward one or a back two, depending on how far they jump out. to jump out full screen. The back two is actually really good as an anti here. And so they actually made Tremor pretty good again. And wow, what a good cancel. And that actually was a, a, a flash parry. That actually was going to have armor on it, even if Silver Eye did throw a counter poke or try to armor. Very good stuff from Illusions and getting the anti air uh, rock splat, which does cause a hard knockdown in this variation. And almost gets the good conversion. That was actually really tricky uh, to convert off of. That's, here's a pretty weird arc kick. And Silver Eye coming off two bars there. And now Illusions has so much meter to work with here. And just like that, he's going to get some big damage here. Get the knockdown. And go for the fun blockable and a good block from Silver Eye. But doesn't get the cancel. And Illusions is going to go up 1-0 with Tremor. Who I've never seen before in my entire life. Very good stuff from Illusions. And what's really cool about uh, the uh, share play, which we're doing right here, ladies and gentlemen. That if you guys are just joining us, the... Um, they're at the same household, so we were doing a just they're doing a versus on their on Silver Eyes console, and we're doing a share play. And he does not have the health bars lowered, so I I took away the overlay, and they actually do not switch sides if they win or lose, which we found out last night. Oh, and I'm not too sure what what going back to Kirsten like they was gonna do. Um, yeah, I actually should have told him to go back to the main menu and lower the health bars, but we're already in it. We're good. So, but I'm still going to have the scores up there at the top. You see Illusions up 1-0 over Silver Eye. Oh, they actually did change sides. Oh, man. That threw me another curveball. Give me one second, guys. And also, also the health, the, as we found out yesterday on the Combat Cup, the sound is also going to be much lower than you're used to. Switched over. And Illusions looks so good with Tremor. I'm not too sure what he likes about this matchup. I, I guess just not having to deal with those projectiles with, with the... Oh, man. The jump back. Um, oh, man. I just, I just forgot what it was called. That, that thing right there.
And also one of the tricks to share plays is that I have to solo commentate as Doughboy cannot watch this. So Doughboy is somewhere in the nether realm making the side for me. And look at the recovery on that projectile. Tremor, ladies and gentlemen. And Silveride doing the right thing. Throwing out those crouch normals on any Tremor approach, which are on the whole going to be highs. They did buff the miss just a little bit, but Illusions are going up 2-0. And man, he's looking really comfortable. And Silver Eye only plays Liu Kang. Sticking with him. And very good. As I said earlier, that... Uh, crouch normal on the approach from Tremor, uh, very similar to how you approach a matchup with uh, J uh, Jason and a few others, and even almost Kotal now, aside from the forward one, uh, all those approaches are, are coming in high, and even Jason's mid, it, it can be low profiled with a down four or down three, or even most down ones, and it's just a really good check, and getting nothing from the flash parry there is illusions. And Silver Eye trying to get him in the corner, trying to get anything started, has Flame Fist. Could have possibly broken armor, and man, if he'd have gotten that clean jump in, if that didn't recover in almost no time, he would have gotten so much off that jump in, and great anti-air down one gets the conversion. You see that from great top players. Every single uh, low poke that anti-airs, full combo. That's what separates the boys from the, the men, in my opinion, is those little conversions that get full combo off of that. A lot of players leave a lot of damage on the table going for, uh, you know, they get a down one anti-air, and then nothing, nothing happens. And the top player get 20%, 30% off that random down one anti. Oh my gosh, look at the health bar from Illusions. Just melt away as Silver Eye tries to get back in this match. And he's down 2 0. On the verge of going home or just putting his pad down. And those actually do not have a gap in Aftershock, whereas you see Crystalline. Um. If he, if he were to go for that low, what's a crystalline crystalline, uh, actually does have a gap. If you were to do uh, 4 one, two, one into the low. And I have expected him to uh, put in the flame fist and then armor, but very good stuff from Silver Eye closing it out. And we have a match. Oh, I can put 11 for the score. There we go. And Illusions has done a great job of playing the keep away game and then playing that up close game. Very good. He, he, he looks for his pokes to hit and then follows up with the forward one rather than just, just try to Go for, a, go for a forward one just to get a little poked, and then a Silver Eye is going to see that and use it to his advantage and use the plus frames uh, to get his pressure going. And what's really good about Tremor now is that if he connects with a down one or a, a down four or anything like that, that, I believe, is now is now a six-frame forward one. It's so good to use the hit stun and guarantee a high. And he can throw so many mixes off forward, two, forward one, two, one, or just do a forward one, check in a throw, uh, put a gap, don't put a gap. Go for a flash parry. Don't go for a flash parry. There's, there's a lot of good, good, quick little mixes that Charmer can do. But Silver Eye's been finding his way in, and Flame Fist has that that damage, even on block or on hit. That's and oh man, shades of DJT. DJT used to be really good uh, with aftershock at, at doing the zoning game and reacting to the jumps with with, with that straight rock. And then just getting the hard knockdown and then reapplying the uh, the zoning. And that was really the last time that we saw a lot of Aftershock used in tournament was uh, DJT. And I want to say, I don't know how many times he used it post last year's NEC. But I remember uh, him using Aftershock almost every match at NEC last year. Which was one year ago. I remember he had a really good match with Tom Brady and a few others. And here we go. We're going to a game five, and we go straight to player select, which Illusions is known to do. And I don't know who he's going to pick. No clue whatsoever. 
sitting on Sub Zero, which I mean, it's one of his characters. Oh, they just uh, switch upside on me again. But Illusions is gonna go with Sub Zero, and we saw the Sub Zero pick against um, Silver Eye earlier did not pay off. So, we'll, we'll, but Illusions is a whole completely different monster. We'll see if it pays off. And Silver Eye already having none of that clone. And it's a full screen. Luke Kang just throw these little, little fireballs all day. Not have to deal with any any of this zoning. Any of this neutral. Uh, with the clone, he just takes it off the screen. Have a nice day. And look at that, right underneath the ice ball. And I'm not too sure what Illusions was thinking here. Like I said, we, we saw it earlier and... Unless he gets into the corner, and even then he has to watch out for the back fist. And man, this is looking so good for Silver Eye. He's one round away from reverse 3 0 Illusions and making it into the Grand Finals of Conquest. And every time Clone has come up, that EX back fist has been on the screen, getting rid of it, getting him out of this corner, puts him full screen. Trades up, and that's actually that's actually a good trade for Silver Eye. Not only did it get get him out of potentially being cornered, but the damage from trading up and then doing the fireball adds substantial damage to that projectile. And utilizes utilizes the EX there to to throw out the mid, and finally catching finally catching the full screen. But it might be too little, too late. He's gonna have an opportunity here. Silver is not gonna have a not gonna have a bar, so he's gonna have to eat this mix. And throwing the back two a little early gets Lloyd wake up, and Silver is waking up with a poke, getting him out of it in the back fist, and just one more hit from Silver is gonna do it. And the low fireball is gonna do it, and Silver I reverse three O's illusions to make it in the grand finals of conquest.